What I want to do in this video is to allow us to be able to identify which transformations have happened. Okay, so can we identify? It? Is it a translation? Is it a stretch? Or is it a reflection? Okay, so we're going to start off with three that are in function notation, and then the last two are not in function notation because we need to be able to work with both. Firstly, y equals f of x has been transformed or mapped to y equals f of x minus 5 plus 7. Now, because we've got the addition of numbers, we've got adding and subtracting numbers that are appearing in the brackets and outside the brackets, this would lead me to assume that it is a translation. So, because I know that if the number inside the bracket is minus 5, then that must mean that it is a positive 5 when I go to write the vector. So the x direction vector, or component rather, is 5, while the component for the y direction is 7. So the number inside changes, okay, so it reverses sign, and the number outside the bracket stays the same much like it as it would be with completing the square. For this next one, I've got a multiplier. A uh, 5 has appeared outside the bracket. So that would mean that it is definitely a stretch. Now because this, the number hasn't appeared inside the bracket, that must mean that it is in the y direction. And now all I need to do is make sure that I can identify the factor. Now, if I divide both sides by 5, I get y has been now been replaced with y over 5, or 1 over 5y. And I know that it is the reverse that I want, the reciprocal of this. So this is actually factor 5. So instead of having 1 fifth, it will be factor 5. Let's look at this third one. y equals f of x plus 2 goes to y equals f of x plus 3. Well, fact is that we've gone from x plus 2 to x plus 3. So actually I've added 1. And so because I've added 1, this must be a translation. So translation by the vector... I just need to identify what that vector would be. Now, the number outside the bracket is still 0. It hasn't changed. So I know that there is no change in the y component. Now, what have I replaced x with? I've replaced the x with x plus 1. Because now I have... If I replace x plus 1 in this equation, then I have y equals f of x plus 1 plus 2. So I've replaced the x with x plus 1. And so because I'm looking at a number inside the bracket, it changes sign. So from 1 to minus 1. So the whole thing is a translation by the vector, minus 1, 0. Let's look at this next one. Okay, So that we're not looking with function notation anymore. Um, we've got y equals x cubed plus 2 has been mapped to y equals 8x cubed plus 2. So one thing you might want to notice is that the plus 2 has stayed the same. Okay? Still going through 2 on the y-axis. So that means it is unlikely that this was a stretch in the y-direction because that 2 would have been pulled upwards or downwards. So this must be a stretch in the x-direction. Now I just need to work out what the factor would be. Right, well, what do, would I need to replace the x with to make x cubed 8x cubed? That's what I need to be asking myself. If I replace the x with 2x, then I get 2x cubed, which is 8x cubed, which is what I want. So if I replace the x with 2x then this is a stretch in the x direction by a factor of 1 half, because it's the reciprocal of 2. And finally, we're going to look at this example. 
y equals 3 to the x has been mapped to y equals 1 over 3 to the x. Now, this looks a little bit odd. Um, we've got the reciprocal. Um, that, that's not quite what we've expected. It's not what we've been looking at. However, in disguise, you can rewrite 1 over 3 to the x as 3 to the minus x. And now it should become apparent because the x has been replaced with minus x. So that is definitely a reflection Now we need to determine, is it in the x-axis or is it in the y-axis? So if it's an x that changes position, so if I had uh, 3, 8, for example, and now it has become minus 3, 8, that is a reflection in the y-axis. So, the more practice of this you do, the better. Um, it's nothing, it's... I cannot stress enough that you do need to practice this to start spotting, especially things like this, being able to manipulate your indices to get it into a format where you would be able to spot what type of transformation it is. But these two types are very common, so get used to them.